I hope you're not only Wolverine fans, it's going to be a long night if you are. <laughs> but I know when I say Wolverine, most people think of this. And of course it's easy to think of the nine movies or the 17 years, but I want to take you back a few years to the year 1999, X-Men 1, five weeks into shooting, and I was on the verge of getting fired. I haven't told this story a lot for obvious reasons. Um, the head of the studio flew up to see me. He pulled me aside at lunch and he said, we're very worried. We're not seeing on camera what we saw in the audition and it's like there's a lampshade over the light and he said a lot of other stuff I don't remember. The very next day, the director, the director pulled me aside, told me exactly the same thing, the whole lampshade over the light story, the whole thing. And I'm like, I was humiliated because I was like, gonna get fired from by far the biggest break of my career. And I went home that weekend and I was complaining to Deb about this person, about that person, you know, I've never read the comics, I was going on and on. And she listened to me very, very patiently for about an hour. And finally, she put her hand on my shoulder and she said, babe, you've got to trust yourself. You're worrying way too much about what everybody else is thinking. I would just go back to the beginning, focus on the character, trust your instincts, you've got this. Yeah! And me, 